Um, in terms of your, your specific question about antisocial behaviour, this is where I would subdivide the, the group of people who are not vaccinated. Um, and I'll be blunt about the first group, first subgroup of that I'll speak about. If you're an anti-vaxxer who's going around deliberately spreading misinformation um, about this vaccine, then yes, I would accuse you of antisocial behaviour because you're putting people at risk by doing that. Um, and I would ask you to think very carefully about that. If you're doing it deliberately, definitely, or if you're just blithely you know, retweeting or sharing on social media information about the vaccine that has not got any basis in evidence or fact, then you're not helping at all. In fact, you are doing the opposite of helping. But if you're somebody who is genuinely worried about vaccination, because you might be reading some of this stuff, then I would say to you, please just take a bit of time to find out the facts about the vaccine. You can do that in a number of ways. You can, as I keep saying, go onto the NHS Inform website. There are lots of sources of credible information online. Or again, as I've said a, a few times previously, turn up at a drop-in vaccination centre. Even if you haven't finally decided you're going to get the jag in your arm, go and talk to somebody. There are you know, trained professionals there who can answer your questions and hopefully put your mind at rest and get the vaccine. So I'm not going to criticise people who have got genuine concerns, but I will not stop trying to encourage you to educate yourself about the vaccine and come forward and, and get vaccinated.